a new wrestler debuts, a title changes hands, and we get a stampede at a stadium. This is what had happened at AEW Double or Nothing. Now play our music. What's really good, guys? It's your boy, Spider Man, aka D Man. Your man, I'm sitting here with my sister, my day one, the one who holds it down for me, my co host, Daria. Say, what's up, Daria? What's up, Daria? I know we are a little late, a day late in trying to get this up, but we don't day care. Late we get to do short. a day late, a dollar short. We don't care. We get to do whatever the heck we want. This is what had happened was, where we give you our pay per view review, not a preview. The review no. of the past pay per view events. But before we get started, y'all know the drill. If y'all like to see this channel continue to grow and thrive, please make sure to subscribe to us. Hit the bell icon because we got content for days up in this junk, ranging from video games to movies to wrestling to anime to whatever you got. We got it for you. Like any of the content that you do enjoy and comment down below because we do like to hear from you. Our kaiju faithful now. Let's get it going. AEW double or nothing. This was a good Saturday. Oh God, it was. This was a good oh, Saturday. We had a big old crowd. Packed. We had a big old crowd in our Discord chat. We made yeah. sure that everything was going off and popping. This was a nice little event. It was a party. It was a party. Uh, and let's uh, let's go ahead and make this segue. We already had a our little private party versus the best friends to, to get us on the buy in. Uh, I get goosebumps after you said that. Yeah, yeah. It it, it was amazing, amazing. Uh, every yeah. match on on this card was. Either amazing or advanced storyline. And hey, we like that kind of stuff yeah. because we like good wrestling. Right. We like good storytelling. So, this is a lot of good wrestling and a lot of good storytelling. WWE, you want to take notes? No, they're, they're not going to take notes. All they're going to do is try to take talent and then make them sit on the bench for like three months and yeah. get everybody pissed off and then fire them during a, a current events. Right. Because we did current events for Double or Nothing pay per view. Oh, God. And, it was and like. It was still lively oh, with God. the small amount of crowd that was there. Yeah, the, the crowd. I don't know who all comprised the crowd, but, but like it was a lot of yeah. wrestlers. I'm, I'm guessing it was a lot of people who were like working the production and everything. Point and it is, felt really, yeah. really good. But let's, let's actually get us started on, onto the match card. Uh, we started off with the buy in, the 30, the 30 little, uh, 30 minute show that they had, uh, the pre show. Uh, with Private Party versus Best Friends for the uh, AEW Tag Team No One Contendership, yes. and this was again good match. You know, yeah. had had a lot yes. of had a lot of nice little fun, fun, yeah, yeah. fun bits in it. Just really good wrestling. I was rooting for Private Party because there are my boys. I want to see Private Party versus New Day versus the USO somewhere down the oh, line. Oh God, that's such like, a good wrestling. I don't together. care. I don't care what organization is doing it under. I just need to see that for you know my time is up on the mm -hmm. earth. Uh, but. You know, Private Party put up a good fight. Best friends is up getting the win. They are the new number one contenders for the AEW Tag Team Championship. We're going to be talking about each and every one of these matches. We're going to be running through these because I really want to talk about the one match that happened at the main event that was really amazing. But we're going to jump ahead to what happened on the main card. The first match of the night, which was something I wasn't expecting. I wasn't expecting them to start off with a ladder match uh, for oh, the, God, uh, yes. for again, the number one contenders for the AEW World Title. Uh, the actual chip hanging from the ring now this was this was fun this was fun because Couple this, people died yeah few people died yeah um this was incredibly fun because instead of having everybody start off right there everybody comes in two minutes later and adds to the fray we had heels acting like intelligent heels because when uh J not joey janela uh kip sabian came out mm -hmm. uh, he had havoc and he had penelope come all yeah. out and help him out and before the match even yeah. you know, got fully underway and i'm like right. yo that's smart why, why, why doesn't this happen more often? It's like, if you are part of a stable or if you're part of a tag team, it's a no disqualification match. Just come out full hog and beat everybody up to yeah. try to get an advantage, which is what they did. And I, you know, re you know, respect, heel respect. Got to throw that up there. Um, well, we're heels. It's hence heel hygiene. So, yeah. That's, that's I'm all with the That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, we got we yeah. we we to throw it out there. We got yeah. we to throw it out there. Let's talk about the TBA. Oh, yeah. And TBA turned out to be not a man. No. But a machine. Brian Cage yes, is now we, in AEW. And we are familiar with Cage. Oh, yeah, with Lucha Underground. With and, Lucha and Underground, yeah. Uh, here's the thing. I actually forgot that they announced that signing like months ago because, again, current events is really stealing your brainwaves and yeah. making it hard for you to figure out exactly what's going on because, hey, current events did, suck. Just, yeah, yeah or, exactly. Uh, so, like, it was a surprise, but it was a surprise that 
A made sense and B because of current events was really refreshing. Yeah. He came in there and he beat up everybody. But again, AEW showing that, hey, at least our heels and our faces are intelligent enough. Yeah. Everybody beats him down, throws all the items on, like from the props mm-hmm. on there. Uh, Orange Cassie yeah. not helping, not helping God, <laughs> to I get mean, the like, heavy little poker chip Cass- on him. God bless it, I love uh, Orange, Orange Cassie. Orange Cassie, like this, 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 this is a must see match. This is definitely a must see match. Yes. If you want to see a really good, a really unique uh, ladder match uh, happening on some kind of main uh, main organization, go ahead and catch the ladder match, the uh, the casino match for uh, the number one contendership. But Brian Cage ends up outlasting everybody. Yes. They had a nice little confrontation between him and Luchasaurus showing Thank that you. these big men can go and I love it. So, you know, that's perfect. Awesome. Good, good, good. Thumbs up for that. Uh, we followed that up with MJF versus uh, uh, Jungle Boy. Mm-hmm. That match, this match should have been a nothing match. This match should have been a nothing uh, match, but this it's, was it's great. It's a couple of them that should have been a nothing match. Yes. And this is one of them. However, oh, this yes. was more than a nothing match. This was, this was absolutely great. Yeah. Uh, I will never call MJF the poor man's Miz ever again because dude can go. Good, you're dude. eating your words. Good yeah, I'm you. eating my words. Dude can go. Jungle Boy can go. And I want to see them go back and forth at each other. Again, a lot of nice in-ring storytelling yeah. uh, with him going after the arm, trying to get his, uh, I forgot what he called his, his finisher. It's not the 1% because I'm thinking of EC3 on that. But he has his own finisher, which is the, the Fujiwara arm bar. Uh, and he's working that whole arm, does a lot of unique moves to, get, to set it up. It was absolutely perfect. Good job uh, for him. MGF comes up with the win, makes Jungle Boy, uh, doesn't make him tap out. He makes him pass out. Uh, no, no, no. That was. Uh, oh, that was another match. Yeah. No, into. no, no. That was the uh, Moxley. Yeah, that was Moxley. Yeah. Uh, we follow that up with, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, Penelope? Uh, wasn't it Nyla Rose? No, and... that, that's later on. Oh, okay, uh, but, yeah, yeah. Was it the Adrian? Forget the order. Forget the order. Don't worry yeah. about it. Uh, we got Chris Statlander, who's yeah. taking the place of Britt Baker, who is going to be out anywhere between a few weeks and a couple months. Uh, they just confirmed, yeah. like no, probably no more than two or three months. Uh, with an ACL. Like, please injury. rip and heal, Brett. Yes, because <laughs> Brett has been doing some great heal work, and it's a shame that she had to miss out on yeah. this because this, yeah. like, this was a, again another. Nothing match, but it was perfect for what it was. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially considering the fact they had to, you know, fill in like within like a couple of days of yeah. like, trying to get everything going. Yeah. Uh, but um, Chris Statlander did a great job uh, filling in. Oh, did she a great did. Job of filling they in. both did. Uh, Again, should have been a nothing match. But yeah, it turned out to be a pretty good, yeah, exactly. a pretty damn good wrestling pretty damn match. Pretty damn good match. Uh, but Chris Statlander ends up getting the win. Yes. We follow it up with. Oh, yeah, the TNT match. Mm-hmm. Okay, we have the TNT match between uh, Lance Archer and yes. Cody Rhodes. Having Mike Tyson come out to the I was going to say, was yeah. Great. Now, now, before anybody gets really, really mad about how the title looks, uh, on on camera, on 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 live, uh, they said, uh, Tony Schiavone said, yo, this, this is just a stand-in title for right yeah, now because, yeah. you know, current events slowed everything down. We had to, you know, speed things up and we didn't get a chance to actually, you know, finish the title. So thankfully, it's not going to look like an airbrushed title that you could get for $200 at some, yeah. you know, trophy store. Yeah, because like, I, I know that was like one of the biggest conversations that we were having in yeah, our Yeah, that title looks like, and I was yeah, so Yeah, it did. We were just like, okay, and then you brought Mike Tyson with the title? Yeah, you brought Tyson in huh. with the title yeah. and... Like it was, it, 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 that made it look even more whack. It but, did. but when we heard that, we were like, okay, we can actually settle in. And we had a really damn good match. Yeah, uh, Lance it, Archer really yeah. showed his natural born ass. Uh, Cody, as always, you know, a great competitor. Uh, Jake the Snake tried to get involved. Uh, and so did Arn Anderson, but mm-hmm. they end up getting kicked out. And then Jake comes back with his snake, and that's when Tyson rips off his shirt and shows, yo, I mean, Iron this, Mike can still go. Oh, I mean, God. like, this match was just, it was good, but it was hilarious, and then it was sort of dumb. Yeah, it, it was the right the, kind of dumb. I was about to say, yeah, in the right way. The right kind so, of dumb. So, yes. But uh, Cody Rhodes ends up being your inaugural uh, TNT AW champion. TNT champion. Yeah. Uh, we follow that up with Nyla Rose. And Hiro Kushida? Uh, yeah. Hiro Kushida. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Sorry did, about that. Sorry about that. Okay, so did not expect the results that we got for this match. New did not. champion. New champion. I said that, you know, maybe they would wait for you to be in front of a crowd. A crowd but for with with these tumultuous times, it yeah. makes sense to just... 
like go forward with your plan because you never know when you're going to get a chance. Right. And it's not fair to say, like, if you were going to uh, move the title off of uh, Nala Rose and put it on Rock Rashida's uh, waist, yeah. then it's not fair to make her wait until things settle down. Yeah. So I, I get it. It makes sense. It makes perfect yeah. sense. And it was a great great match it Nyla was. Nyla again is always a dominant monster and Huraku coming out dressing like Tifa she from Final Fantasy 7 oh. she held her own it was a no yeah. DQ no count out match and they, they both came wrecked each other kicking ass and taking names kendo sticks and everything oh, but Huraku Shida gets the win on she that does. one that was a great match again another possible must see this is a lot of wrestling uh, in this night. A yeah. lot of freaking wrestling. Yeah. Uh, we followed up with our penultimate match, our, our co-main event, you could say, for the AEW world title uh, between we Brody forgot, Lee. Um, before Brody Lee and Moxley, it was Dustin oh, Rhodes. Dustin Rhodes. Yeah. And, well, I mean, like, that's... This was the nothing match on the card. Okay. But, like, it was a fun nothing match. Yeah. So, I, I'm, I don't hate it. But it also didn't mean anything. No, but, yeah, you, you were but right. It was we, fun, we, again, we almost it was skipped a fun match. It. It yeah, was. because it was Brandy... Nice, Cody's uh, wife got involved. Yeah, and a I lot thought of people that was got pretty, involved. I thought that was pretty cool. So Sean Spears comes out. He they they make sure they make sure throughout the whole show, which is very good, awesome. Again, awesome storytelling from the commentators at this point. They they made sure to continuously say is like we haven't seen Dustin, we haven't seen Dustin, we haven't yeah. seen Dustin. Yeah. And now Sean Spears comes out with dressed in a suit. Mm -hmm. Nobody's seen Dustin. He's nope. demanding that they count him out. He's faking out the fans by yeah. by having his music play. And he's like, ha-ha, you guys thought he was coming. You, you dumb, you idiot. Yeah. And now he's like, count him out. Then the music plays again. And, and Brandy and comes he's out. like, wait, 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 wait. wait. I, we only do that once. Brandy comes out. <laughs> yeah. Dustin shows up behind him, beats him from post to post to post, throws him out of the ring. He was okay. not in wrestling gear. He was not in wrestling gear. He had a very unfortunate graphic on his crotch that made it oh. look like he spilled out of his undies. Yeah. And that was, that, like, that was the yeah. most distracting thing in this whole match where we're just like, yeah. that can't be what I just thought I saw. No. And it wasn't. It was like, it was a Tully Blanchard's face. But like, it was, it was not placed in a, in a good position. Just and we were just weird. like, this is, this, is not, this is not the best thing we're looking at right now. Very, very weird and awkward. It was very weird and awkward, but Dustin, you were absolutely right. I yes. missed this match. Dustin Rhodes gets the win uh, and keeps his momentum going. Yes. Uh, now we can go to the Moxley, now it's Moxley Brody and Brody Lee, Lee yeah. uh, for the AEW World Title. This was, again, another great match, another long match. I'm thinking it was almost 30 minutes if it didn't surpass just the about, mark. Just about, yeah, Jesus. Uh, this was just a knockdown, drag out, beat down match. Um, we're showing we're how, how Moxley is like, yo, I am the champion. But I am able to withstand even the most gruesome match ever. Of course. Brody Lee was holding on to the title, the unofficial AEW World uh, yeah. Champion. They, 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 he made sure that, to make them call him. Um, standing tall in the middle of the ring. Uh, they made sure to separate him with with security guards. So it made it feel like there was a big fight feel yeah. throughout this whole thing. And the crowd, again, the crowd made this whole event worthwhile because yeah, there was no did. dead zones people were chanting people were cheering people were yeah. booing even, even though it was like probably mostly just all wrestlers and production people it worked and it made it feel like it was worth you know watching this event yeah. and it, everything actually mattered but yeah. again another must-see match yeah. Brody Lee versus and, John Moxley yeah Moxley gets the win because he did a submission with Brody Lee. Oh, yeah. And put Brody Lee to sleep. Oh, yeah. He put him to sleep. Yes. He's like, you will go to sleep or I will put you to yeah. sleep. And he Again, put him to sleep. I was not expecting that. Oh, yeah. It he, blew me that he did a submission and won the title. I was expecting for a pin. Oh, yeah. Because he, he hit he him like submitted. with like a few yes. paradigm shifts and he kept kicking out. Yeah. And that made Brody Lee look like a monster. Yeah. Because like nobody's really kicked out of, uh, uh, I just said it. Paradigm shift. Yes. Thank you. The paradigm shift. Uh, nobody's really been kicking out of the paradigm shift like that. And here's Brody Lee doing it. And it also makes Moxie look like an intelligent guy mm -hmm. for going, okay, you know what? This isn't working. I must change my tactics and show that I am actually more than just a catchphrase, more than just a finisher move, more than just a, a raccoon jacket. We call it the raccoon jacket because Mox looks like a freaking raccoon. It's so cute. But it's an also badass jacket. It, so, I love, I love the jacket. It's a, it's a raccoon jacket. All right, so but now, yeah, we can now move on. we're gonna move on to the one big match that I really did want to talk about, and this oh, is the Stadium Stampede. God match. damn this match! <laughs> on Twitter, oh. uh, Tony Khan said that everybody had a bunch of ideas for this, and it shows yeah. in some of the best ways because, like, everything about the excuse me, everything about this was like 
it was like wrestling meets 80s, uh, you know, college comedy yeah. meets like a bunch of stuff that worked together. Like uh, Hangman Page was on a horse for the majority of the yep. damn match. And he only yeah. showed up in one segment and that was all he needed. That was it. That was all you needed. That was all you needed for That's him. That's all you needed, uh, yeah. You had, uh, you had the, uh, the duct tape and the, the, the chair of wheels. The chair of wheels. Uh, the, the portable so, lake of rejuvenation that saw yeah. Matt Hardy go from Broken Hardy to uh, to the last run at WWE. Matt Hardy to Matt Hardy version one. Yeah. And then right back to the old one uh, to Broken Hardy. That was a, an amazing spot. Yeah. I, I marked the freak out for that. Uh, we had a guy uh, got put in an ice machine and locked. So he had locked into an ice machine. We had a hundred <laughs> yards of Northern Lights suplexes yes. done to Sammy Guevara. Literally a hundred yards. Literally a hundred freaking yards. Yes. Sammy is the MVP of this match. He, he was. got freaked yes. up the whole time. He's the MVP yes. of this match. And yeah. the only one to last with his with while his team was. Oh yeah, dead. everybody else get got everybody put else down. was dead, and it was just Sammy, and Sammy was just like. <laughs> I'm fucked. Yeah, the whole the whole match was great. This is this is definitely my seal of approval. Definitely catch this match. Yes. Uh, the elite ends up getting the uh, off of them an amazing freaking one wing angel, a twenty foot one wing one winged angel, like onto some some freaking props and shit. Yeah, off of the freaking stadium. This was amazing. This whole thing was yeah. made. The whole the whole event ended up being a fun experience. Yeah. I didn't feel like I had to shut my brain off just to enjoy a <laughs> bit of it. So, if we had to rank everything in terms of, like, cinematic matches, I would have to put the Stadium Stampede above the Bray Wyatt-John Cena match, above the uh, Boneyard match. Okay. Now, those are all great. Yeah. But, like, this one was, like, A-plus top tier. I have no problems with this. No. This is five, six, seven stars. Yeah. Just for, just for how goofy and fun it was. They brought the ring in, and they were in the ring yeah. for, like, maybe two minutes. Yeah, Everything that else ring was, was not really around. And I'm like, hey, if you're gonna if you're gonna do a stadium stampede match, that's how it should be. Yeah. It should be all over the stadium. And they went all over the stadium. It, it was great. It was perfect. AW Double to Nothing was Honestly, amazing. I need to see more of this. It's been three months between their last pay per view, which was uh, has, yeah. basically uh, a lethal, lethal leap year yeah. that happened on the 29th of February. And then the next one's going to be uh, all in uh, happening, I want to say, in July, I think. Yeah, and then, like, that's like the WrestleMania event, right? I think so. It's like, yeah. it's like happening sometime in July, maybe a bit of August. Uh, but, yo, know, this, is, this is great. Honestly, Keep an eye out on AEW, please do, because this is this this shit right here is great wrestling. Yeah. I love it. It's fun. It's goofy. It's it's intelligent at the same time. So go ahead and keep an eye on that. Do you have any final words for? I, I do. Oh yeah, you're great. I would you're give, great for yeah, this. Yeah, I would rank this an A. Just an A? I mean, an A plus. I'm about to say you know, a, a plus. Don't be a, don't be stingy with the pluses. Okay. Don't be stingy. A plus. This is definitely yeah. an A plus event. This is Go, enjoyable. Like, if yeah. you if you can, like head over to. Uh, I'm guessing it's all on Fight Network or you know. Uh, AEW is going to be able to show it on on their main website. But go over there and and catch it. Make sure you keep an eye out on that. Um, That's it. There's nothing else to say. There's nothing else. To say. Nope. There's nothing else to say. That's oh, it. okay. Um, we got some stuff coming up down. The we gotta advertise ourselves, baby. We, we, gotta, we gotta handle that, baby. Okay. Uh, we got some stuff happening on down, down the pipeline. Make sure to go ahead and and subscribe over to patreoncom slash I'm gonna throw the magic right here. Go ahead over there because uh, we got some new shows coming and we also have some polls and uh, some new content coming up right there. Um, I'm saying um a lot. Mm -hmm. I guess it's time for us to go. It's time to close it out. It's time for us to close it out. So y'all make sure to keep it smashing. We'll catch y'all later. Deuces. Bye.